real lives and real testimonies to bring inspiration and hope to the world. There's so much more to the Christian life than just being married. There's not an official age when I decided to be a virgin. We're talking about biblical manhood plus fighting temptation. Welcome to Crystal's Corner. Hey guys, and welcome to Crystal's Corner. I am your host, Crystal OG, and today we have Miss Courtney Williams on the show. Yay! I am so excited, you guys. Courtney is a mom of three, a wife, and is currently working in the marketing industry. But her true passion is to share her experiences about going from a single mom to a wife to a blended family of five. Courtney hopes to inspire women not to settle and to go after everything they want in a life. I think that's so amazing. Yeah. That's so great. I'm excited. I'm Thanks excited for having too. me. I'm excited too. As you all may know, Crystal's Corner is a series where I showcase millennials who are living boldly for Christ and who are willing to share their experiences here on the channel. So. Courtney is here today, <laughs> y'all. Yeah. I'm excited. I'm so excited. So, the topic of the day, the juice, the juice, the juice. So, today we're going to be talking about Christians and judging. Yeah, it's a really dun, dun, dun. deep topic. Really <laughs> deep topic, really deep topic. Um, Courtney has had some personal encounters with being misjudged and kind of feeling that from the other side of the spectrum. I know oftentimes we kind of just go about our lives like, oh, why would that girl do this? Or why would he do that? Or that was a poor choice to make. And we just have all these remarks towards people, people's lives that we know nothing about. So today we want to talk more about, you know, um, judging Christians wrongly and the dangers of judging a person without knowing their circumstances. And Courtney has a personal life experience with that. Can yeah. you tell us more about that? Yeah. Um, so like she said, I was a single mom and um, my husband, he had one child before we got married and now we have a nine month old baby together. So beautiful. So we're a blended family of five and after we got engaged, well when we were dating we were long distance. Mm -hmm. Um, so my husband, he lived in Louisiana. I lived in Houston. Oh, wow. um, and once he got a job offer in Houston, he decided to move down and move with me because we were engaged mm -hmm. and we were like, it's no point in both of us paying rent. Mm -hmm. So we felt like since God gave us a second chance yeah. to get it right, um, we wanted to go ahead and get married mm -hmm. and then plan for our wedding a year out yeah. from getting married. So we went to the courthouse and um, we got married. Um, we make two years oh, wow. in two months, no, two gosh. weeks, two weeks. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. So with that being said, we planned for our wedding a year out from getting married at the courthouse. And dun, dun, dun. <laughs> yeah, our nine month old baby, um, she popped up uh, six months before our wedding date. Oh, wow. So I found out I was pregnant six months before um, we were due to actually have our ceremony. And so I was like, oh my gosh, I had already bought my dress and we had already booked our venue and all of this stuff. So we couldn't back out of it. And I was just like, I'm going to have a six month bump Ooh. at my wedding. And so anyway, we have the wedding. Everything goes great. Um, we shared our pictures on social mm -hmm. media after we got married and the pictures kind of went viral i guess a huge controversy <laughs> yes the williams family <laughs> yeah our pictures i guess went viral a lot of wedding pages a lot of popular oh. wedding pages um shared our pictures and granted about 70 percent of the feedback was positive we did have mm -hmm some negative feedback because like I said I had a six month mm -hmm. baby bump in um, my wedding dress and so a lot of people didn't know our story didn't mm -hmm. know that we were already married that we had went to the courthouse and that we were just having our ceremony mm -hmm. um, with our friends and family so I got some really harsh comments like this is an abomination. Oh, wow. um, what are we teaching the world? Yeah. Some people saw that um, I had my daughter and he had his son, so they thought we had two kids together already. So they're like, oh, two kids later, oh, no. <laughs> not even knowing that we were a blended family. So we got a lot of comments back like that, and I was just 
really taken back yeah. like wow you know people are so quick to judge when they don't even know the full mm -hmm. picture and the full story so I think there was a lesson learned in that whole situation like just be careful you know with making judgments or prejudging a situation that you don't know the full story yeah yeah I think yeah. that um it's really easy to go off of what you see so instantly right. and to throw stones almost at people who look like they're in sin or um don't look like they did it the right way or did it the way that you know you think it should have been done but I think that in Courtney's case you know she had gotten married in the court and I mean you guys didn't post the wedding certificate or no like, we you know didn't. hey we're married so it's like it wasn't a public thing which is okay right. you know I think that people might have taken the liberty to even ask you, oh, were you right. guys married in the court before now? Right. Or, you know, instead of throwing stones and literally like condemning her and um, making her feel kind of shame for what God has kind of put together in this instance. I think that it's so amazing. And I think you're so bold for even posting that picture. Like what went through your mind when you posted that picture? Um, so you mean originally or after the fact, like, Maybe originally, when you okay. first posted, you're like, okay, I know I'm pregnant. Yeah. Like, I want to show my dress off. Right. Like, I look right. too good not to post this. <laughs> yeah, no, I was really proud. Mm -hmm. I, I, I was, like I said, I was taken back from the feedback. I guess it did, I didn't really think about it. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I felt so beautiful. I felt like I was glowing. Um, my dress ended up fitting perfect. It was my dream mm -hmm. dress. And... I think I ordered it in a size four oh, and I didn't wow. even know if I was going to fit it like up until the day of my wedding. So it was nobody but God and my yeah. seamstress who um, made that possible. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so I was really proud to post the picture. I didn't know, you know, the feedback that we were going to get. Yeah. Um, a lot of people didn't know that we were married mm -hmm. besides our close friends and family because it wasn't something that I broadcasted. Yeah. Um, I really didn't want to like debut it until the <laughs> wedding, but with under the circumstances yeah. with my baby bump, we kind of had to put it out there mm -hmm. that we ended up we did go to the courthouse before. Um, but yeah, I, I felt beautiful. I was so proud you to post beautiful. the uh, so proud to post the picture from our ceremony. It was just such a God filled and Holy Spirit filled mm -hmm. night, and I just wanted to share it with my <laughs> Instagram family and my Instagram friends. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, that's amazing. I think um, there are a lot of mothers or wives who are kind of going through that same transition, like oops, I'm pregnant, what now, you right. know, and living in that fear of if I post, will I be rejected? If I post, will I still be seen as a Christian right. or holy or pure? I think that's a struggle that many women may face, you know, upon getting married or having been married in the court and now looking to have the ceremony afterwards. Um, so I think that you're a great example of someone who's just like, you know what, I look beautiful, I'm going to own it, I got married in the court, and hey, look, my baby's here, and my man is here, and right. my kids are here, and we good, okay? Right. So I think that's so amazing. I think that's so amazing um, how even though maybe the world or Christians throwing stones are calling it bad, and why would you do that? I think that God is looking down, smiling, and saying, wow, like, you know, this is beautiful. This right. is this is your union, you know? Right. And it may not look like the conventional way of doing things but I think that there's always that backstory that we always need to think about like we can't just jump to conclusions and condemn people for things that we think that they did or didn't do you know right I think it's really really important yeah and um you know you don't have a testimony without a test mm -hmm. and I feel like God has put my family in a position to show people that we all deserve second chances mm -hmm. you know blended families can work and God can be the center of them and they can be successful mm -hmm. and so if you don't know you know the backstory then it could be easy to judge mm -hmm. but I think once you know then you know you're more welcoming and understanding of it mm -hmm. all yeah. yeah and how was it blending both families initially initially it was hard mm -hmm. it was hard in the beginning um when we first started dating i had my daughter was two she's now five mm -hmm. and then his son was three and he's now six and so they were pretty young 
Um, and so, you know, with young kids, that's like their prime age of like, they don't fool with people they're not comfortable with. They don't do that. <laughs> no. Like, who are you? Right. Who are you? You brand new. You don't belong here. Exactly. Oh, no. Exactly. So, it took some time for both of us just to put in the work and build that trust and that mm -hmm. foundation with each other's kids but um but god yeah so, yeah now yeah. it's a lot easier yeah mm -hmm. what would you say your family's message to the world is um you know that everybody deserves a second chance and that just because you make a mistake doesn't mean that god can't use you and mm -hmm. that at the end of the day he can still get the glory from your story mm -hmm. um and just to don't be afraid to share with the world share your mistakes and how you overcome it mm -hmm. and you know how you finished off strong so we take pride in being an example I don't think there's a lot of examples out there of blended families you know positive examples yeah, a positive. lot of them are drama filled mm -hmm. or they get the um, reputation of being drama filled yeah. and stressful but I'm proud and yeah. grateful that we could be an example mm -hmm. of a positive drama free just double the love with yeah our family. yeah that's beautiful that's so beautiful I think that, like you said there is that stigma on right. blended families like oh there's baby mama drama mm -hmm. and, you know there's all types of stuff popping up but honestly right. <laughs> like um, it takes two strong people and people who are willing to make it work you right. know it can't be one-sided like oh well I'm just gonna side, sort of kind of try while you're over there you know doing putting in your all I think it's so awesome to see like two people who love each other who right. are really seeking to make that those two become like one in this right. instance so I think that's amazing yeah, um, thank so you. what plans do you have for your family or for more kids or for just your life in general <sighs> more kids <laughs> That's uh, to be determined. My <laughs> husband would love more. Um, we have three now, so that's a lot. <laughs> but he wants to even it out. We have mm. two girls and one boy, so he's wanting one more boy. But I'm just like, that's not even guaranteed. That's 50 <laughs> 50. So. Um, but we have a lot coming up that we have planned for the new year that we're working on. Um, I'm starting a blog. Yay. Yeah. So I'm starting a blog that'll be all things, blended families, mm -hmm. um, single motherhood, the road to dating and getting married mm -hmm. while being a single mom, and then the aftermath of blending mm -hmm. families and marriage and all that good stuff. Um, and then my husband has some things that he's working on as okay. well. So as a family, we're just trying to live out our God-given mm -hmm. purpose which we think is just to share our story and our testimony. So we're excited about yeah. all the things we have coming up. Yeah, yeah. and I think that um, that's awesome. And it's crazy how even though we have these plans for our lives and we have things that we're doing, we don't realize that God is using that to help other people. Right. You know, like right. you think like, oh, we have all these plans, but it's like, no, 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 no. Like you're helping other people's right. lives, you know. Um, right. And I think that's so beautiful because it, at, in the Christian life, we have the opportunity to bless others, to help others, to encourage other women um, right. who feel like single mom is the end. Right. And there are a lot yeah. of women who oh, feel like yeah. single mom is the end. Like, oh, who's yeah. going to marry me with the baby? Yes. Who, you know, we yeah. always hear, like, who's going to marry me with the baby? So seeing a woman who has kind of walked that path and gone down that lane is really encouraging and inspiring. And I think that your blog will be a blessing to so many people. Yeah. Um, I'm going to link it below whenever it's <laughs> ready, guys. So yes. you guys can definitely check it out and I'll link all her Instagram and social media below as well yeah. so I think that that's so amazing and I'm just hoping the best for your family thank you, thank you for coming you on so the much. show You're and welcome. just sharing I pray that this video yeah. inspired you poured into you edified you and just kind of gave you more insight into the life of a single mom who became a wife and who is now living as a mother in a blended family um, yeah. thank you guys so much for watching like I said before I will put all of Courtney's information in my description bar below feel free to reach out to her or leave a comment below I'm um, letting you know what you think about this video don't forget to thumbs up subscribe and I will see you next time on Crystal's Corner bye, bye.